Okay, guys. So does your does your printer uh, look like this uh, when it when it prints out? Uh, all the lines are missing, faded lines, gaps in lines, gaps in text, white and black. Uh, this is a common problem in inject and uh, inject and desk jet printers and all in ones as well. So this is an Epson Stylus SX four two five W, and um, let me show you the ways that I have actually. Um, managed to resolve this. I've actually resolved this problem, this printer. I didn't actually think it was going to work. There are a whole sequence of steps you can try and the first thing you want to do is you want to first of all get to the setup um, built-in tools of your printer. So turn this, turn it, your printer on obviously, go into setup. On this one you've got a, a spanner and a screwdriver button, press that. Um, and three things you can try, it's like there's three, four, five different methods you can try. There's two tools you can do on your printer, and that's to clean the nozzle, nozzle check. Um, and there's also head cleaning and head alignment. So nozzle check, uh, proceed, printing, cancel that. Uh, this has a nozzle check and then obviously head cleaning head, what head cleaning does is actually it um, cleans the head so that for example it would um, not leave gaps um, or air bubbles remove air bubbles and remove any clogged ink from the print heads um, and head alignment will mean that if you have like a piece like if you have like text that is like a slightly faded um, but it actually looks like it's, it's not a problem with the actual print, uh, but it just gaps, small gaps in the text, like this for example, um, just very small white gaps in the text, then it would actually um, look like that and you need a head alignment um, to do that. The, so head alignment, um, so basically yeah, when, it's, when you need head alignment the text isn't all that bad. But when it's really bad, it'll look like this, something like that. And that's just the copy. That's actually a copy, not a print. Um, so yeah, head alignment and also um, a nozzle check if you got that or a, uh, um, or a head cleaning. That's the main thing. The head cleaning is the main one. Uh, sometimes that might be on the computer itself, on the software itself. We have to do that, and not from the computer, not from the printer. Uh, but most of them from the from the printer itself. That's where you do those checks. So um, another thing to do is um, is to check for. So another thing to do is when you when you went through that and it's still not working fine, like on on this one. When I did that, I was still doing that problem. Then you can actually um, go inside the printer, and then you can actually go and clean the heads. So I'll try and zoom in here. You can clean the heads, and um, the way you do that on this printer, if I go to uh, on the tools, you go to ink. Cartridge replacement, proceed. And then you lift, open the top. I'm not, I'm not going to take these cartridges out because I'm afraid, afraid that I might ruin it again. If you take these cartridges out one by one, you can actually see nozzle heads. And what you do, you actually spray with something like a clean, some cleaning fluid, like this is screen and keyboard cleaning fluid spray some of that and use a cloth don't use a tissue because it will die like the white um debris will have you bits of the tissue will go inside you want to clean it it's not too bad you just one or two, two or two or three sprays onto the nozzle and you just simply clean them very easily and then once you've done that you use a, uh, a cloth to to wipe off that ink from the nozzle on all four, you got, on all four, you got black, cyan, magenta, and yellow, and you just um, clean each one separately with a cloth, using one of these, or even a hand sanitizer will do it. Actually, I use, use mine with a hand sanitizer, and that spray, because uh, that includes alcohol, and alcohol cleans things. So, 
which is very very strong um so yeah and and that that actually did it for me um and the, also what i did was after that uh or fourth fourth option is to replace the ink cartridges as well because not only could they be empty but the chip in the cartridge could be um defect and once that's gone then it's going to need a new cartridge and if that's not doing it then try a genuine ink cartridge like a genuine this was epson a genuine epson print cartridge that would also um fix a lot of the problems as well so got head clean nozzle nozzle check um and head alignment and you got cleaning the nozzles with this taking the removing the ink cartridges out removing the nozzles um sorry i'm cleaning the nozzles uh wipe them wipe them down dry with a cloth and the excess uh ink and uh replace the cartridges um you can by all means try and put in a compatible that may work if you still don't get a result, successful result solution, then try putting genuine ink cartridges in. Okay, and uh, that's pretty much it really. That didn't take too long. Um, once you've done that, then attempt to print a, attempt to uh, to do a, a uh, test page print. Once all that's to check it. Uh, once you've done all those cleans and checks and uh, tasks and then that might do it so for example so, so my my printer went from that to start to that so i printed it one that way and then the other and the page left to do a test pinch page print the other way so that's successful and then i then did a copy and that's successful as well you can see there so the, all those things work you could go to try many different things and um if those doesn't do it then you probably have to it will be safe to say unfortunately you may need maybe a problem with the ink ink system where it's just best to get a new printer um but any comments or problems or, or issues or questions please fire please fire away and uh, please like subscribe and comment on this video and keep do do subscribe or pass on to others because then i can help other people with problems with the PC. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great, great day. Thank you.